So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be implementing sign in with Apple in this one. So obviously first things first you need a Mac OS to work this out. If you do not have a Mac um, you can either hack around a virtual machine get Mac OS installed into it and then run Xcode um, or if you can just I don't know just see how you can arrange a Mac for yourself if you want to develop because you need Xcode for signing and managing all that stuff. You need Xcode for the simulator as well. So you're kind of stuck on Windows. Anyway, so what you need first of all is just go ahead and set up your Xcode correctly. And uh, um, it's so hard to see on this large screen. This text size is must, must be small, but I cannot really zoom into Xcode as well. So that's that's one fault. Anyway. So just make sure that you go ahead inside your signing and capabilities. So yeah, signing and capabilities, make sure you have a correct team associated, add a capability and just search for sign in with Apple, right? So it will automatically take care of uh, your bundle name and everything. So you see that the bundle name is not really available. So let's just go ahead and change that to com.fastthumbs right and that should probably get us working so you can see that's it so we do not really have to visit um, the Apple App Center and everything to configure so there we are now the next thing we need to do is configure our application correctly so for that what we're gonna do is jump on to capacitor.config.json and just change this app ID to our bundle ID com.fastthumb right and you might want to change this in the capacitor.config.json inside the iOS one as well com.fastthumbs right so there's that next what we want to do is we need to install the capacitor plugin for um, native bindings again because we want a native experience not a web based experience so let's just go ahead and install this and looks like it is not published as an npm module so we have to install it from the github repo so that should work fine Do, you don't have to worry then again just like we did with the google login except the part we do not have to you know just just work with a lot of configuration we can just go ahead and pick it up directly so we already have the plugins with us so what i'm going to do is just go ahead move down a little and right here inside sign with apple which is a function which is called when i click on this button right here i'm gonna call uh, the authorize plugin and then when we have response let's just make it any at the moment we just want to console log the response and if there's any error we want to console log them as well right now after doing this obviously what i want to do is go to or rather yeah let's just go to the app first and go to ios and give a pod install this should uh we need to go into app again pod install this should pretty much install the modules and everything actually the npm sync uh, npm npx ionic not really ionic but capacitor sync should take care of that as well so you can see that we have an uh, app login which is being taken care of so there's that all right so once we have done that go back to xcode and run your application build your application one more time because native code has been changed which cannot be hot reloaded by ionic like that so here we are now if i click on login with apple you can see that i get the native apple id dialog box and on simulator it asks me for this little interface but on actual device if you try it in production build it would be even smoother it will be just a single screen and uh, yeah you would be able to good to go you would be able to go just fine so i'm just gonna go ahead and enter my password here and right here you can see that i have entered the password and we have successfully logged in with apple right so that's basically it for this video in the next one we're gonna see how we can extract this user right here well we have already extracted but for google how we can extract this user and send both of this information 
in a unified interface on our node backend, which is then going to communicate with Firebase. So things are going to get interesting really soon. So stick together, make sure you subscribe, like the video and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one really soon.